Hi everyone. So today we are going to look at the bus stop chunking method. And the calculation we're going to focus on at first is 93 divided by 3. So as we can see, the number 93 is not in our three times tables. So I can't just use my multiplication facts or count up in my threes because the number is too big. So I'm going to do the bus stop division method, but taking it away in chunks of three. So remember, you need to do 93 and then put the number three here to show that you are dividing by three. So the first chunk that I can take away is 10 times three, which is 30. And then we are going to do a subtraction. So don't forget your subtraction sign. I've got three ones, take away zero is three and nine tens take away three tens is six and I'm left with the number 63 and again I can still take away another chunk of 10 times three and just be careful to write 10 times three not three times ten you want all of your threes in a line here so 10 times 3 is 30. And again, make sure you do your subtraction sign. Three ones take away zero is three. And six tens take away three tens is three. And I'm left with the number 33. And again, I can see that I can still take away another chunk of 10 threes. And then I've got 33 take away 30. Three ones take away zero is three. And three tens take away three tens is zero. And I'm just left with three ones. So this is the part where some people want to take away another chunk of 10 times three. But I only have three ones, so I can't possibly take away a bigger number. I can't take away 30, but I can take away one group of three, which is three. And then three ones take away three ones, leaves you with zero. And then you need to count up how many groups of three. So I've got 10. 20, 30, 31. So 93 divided by 3 leaves you with 31. Okay, on to the next.